It has been a year since I stepped foot in the Caldwell community, but it hasn't been like that for Ottawa police. The area that is known for drugs, gangs, and killings was the scene of yet another homicide a week ago, taking the life of 20-year-old Hamze Siran, a university student with a criminal record. Still a week after his death, a growing vigil has been erected outside of his home, and neighbors are still changing the water and the flowers and lighting the candles. This is just one of many incidents that have taken place in the community over the past few years. Last October, we report on the 14th homicide of 2016 that took place in the Caldwell community that left one man dead and started a major manhunt. The man involved was later arrested. It ended up being a family dispute. It's incidents like this that are leaving so many in the community alarmed, especially with so many children living in the community. This area is known for having multiple incidents, and as I'm sure you can tell from here behind me, this area is populated with many children. And while sadly this is also an area with high crime rates, buildings such as these ones here behind me have been involved in recent incidents of shootings and stabbings. The Caldwell community has lots of children who have sadly became used to the sight of body bags being pulled out of the townhomes and police arresting individuals in the area. Although the area is known for a lot of bad behavior, the community is rallying together in hopes of changing that. They would like to see more security cameras installed in the area and a greater police presence. On Wednesday, they held a protest and city councillor for the area Riley Brockington came out as well as Ottawa's police chief, Charles Bordelow. The residents are hoping to get their message across to the elected officials, so more vigils won't have to keep popping up as more lives are lost. What is growing vigils such as this one here that are making residents here in the Caldwell Avenue community concerned, and rightfully so. As I said earlier, this is an area full of children. There's a park up the street, and many of the children live in the homes nearby and parents are concerned of what their children may see. Charlie Cena, TWIN News, Ottawa.